I see, you know. It's almost like they wanted to, they wanted to see him punished. You know, John Molina. He was day, getting his ass know, beat. Now don't get me wrong, he is a warrior. There's no use. You know, he is a warrior, and yes, he still owns the soul of Ruslan Provotnikov, and even though he lost Lucas Matisse, in my opinion. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Eighth round stoppage. He was down in the first round. It looked like it was going to be over in, in the first round, but somehow he held on and kept eating more right hands. You know, like he was eating them, eating them. And it was going to get really, really ugly. And I don't even know why they actually let him come out for the eighth round. Anyway, I want to see Jose Zito Lopez versus Adrian Broner. I think that's a very good fight. Or what about Jose Zito Lopez versus, um, this is the first knockdown. What about Jose Zito Lopez versus, um, um, Sergey Limpinets? Look, John Molina just looked nasty, right? But you never know. Like I said in my uh, uh, preview, he could be the guy that gets knocked out in 20 seconds, or he can be the guy that takes you to hell and back. But in this case, being, what, 36 years old now? Now, don't get me wrong. Um, Jose Zito Lopez is, is, is 35 himself. But, oh, that's the uh, stoppage. But for the most part, you know, he's the fresher fighter and the fighter that has more to give at this point in time in his career. And this was a bit of a crossroads. And and Jose Zito Lopez should have did the job that he did on John Moline like John Moline like he did tonight. Especially when you um, did so good against um, Keith Thurman in Keith Thurman's last fight before he fought on pay-per-view. You know, a guy like John Molina should be easy work. Right? So, unfortunately, they're not going to give a post-fight interview for some strange reason to uh, Jose Z. Lopez because I really would have liked to see, you know, who he would be targeting next. And is he ranked anywhere at 147? Looking likely not, but I'm pretty sure Al Heyman's going to do some maneuvering to get him ranked at 147 after this fight. But where? WBC? You know, PBC has a nice, solid stable of 140 and 147 pound, and of course, 154 pound fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 39 Please subscribe. Listen seconds in. of round number eight. Our referee in charge, Ray Corona, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout, the Riverside Rocky Josecito Lopez. Well, Cecito Lopez now 37 and 8, 20 of his victories coming via knockout. The former sparring partners, a combined 30 years of professional experience. Lopez victorious to hide. Oh, wait, he do get an interview, so what was I doing? Jose Cito oh, my Lopez. computer this crashed. This is a building that kind of launched your career with a knockout over Victor Ortiz. Now you get another great win here at Staples Center against a veteran, a warrior like John Molina. How gratifying is this moment for you? A warrior for sure with John Molina, man. It was a pleasure being in the ring with, with John Molina. First off, I got beautiful memories here in Sta at Staples Center, and I'm glad everybody was here again. First off, I want to thank... The man that makes this all happen, the man that gives me an opportunity and gives every boxer Al an Heyman. opportunity to make make a change for their lives. And Al Heyman, thank you so much. Thanks, Fox, for having me on. You know, I'd like to thank my team, RGBA, Robert Garcia, for really turning my career around and making the most of my career. And I'm very, very happy, very thankful for all my opportunities. And I'm the Riverside Rocky, and I'm here to challenge all champions, all big battles, and uh, till the end. Well, it was definitely a big battle here tonight. We heard John Molina in his corner, everyone trying to stop it, saying, I want one more round. What was going through your mind knowing that they were about to stop this in this last round? I knew John Molina wasn't going to quit. He's a warrior. This is, uh, this is, uh, I'm happy to be able to fight with the warrior and share the ring with a warrior like himself. I knew uh, he wasn't going to quit for sure, so uh, I had to keep on the pressure and uh, keep hitting, and hopefully, uh, you know, the, the ref, the team makes the right call, and you know what? Uh, it was just a pleasure being in the ring with him, and I'm thankful for everyone here that came out to Staples Center, and you know, there's, there's a lot more Riverside Rocky here. Yeah, I see Robert Garcia standing next to you here. Since you've joined forces with this team, you have been really impressive. What have they done for your game? 
oh, it turned my career around. You know, uh, I have Robert Garcia, not only Robert Garcia, but the entire RGBA team. You know what, we're like race cars, like NASCAR. I got a team behind me that doesn't get enough for the credit, and they're the ones doing the work. I'm just the machine to put in the work. Well, you've had an impressive performance against Keith Thurman. You come in here and do this against John Molina. What's next for you? What name do you want out there? Yes, I came up a little short with the world champion Keith Thurman, and uh, he's a great champion. I, I'm happy to have shared the ring with him, but I want all big challenges. I want a world title. I, I want all the best guys and big get, get the biggest fights possible. All right. Thank you so much, Josecito. Congratulations on a great win here at Staples Center. Kenny, we'll send it back to you. Like I said, I would welcome him versus Broner. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. Seven and eight in his career with a victory over John Molina Jr.